Great experience. It's very exciting, very dramatic. All the lighting, the big screen, all adds to the excitement of the day, really. Are you up for some awards? In every sense, up for some awards. And also up for some awards! Yeah. My name's Glenn Reid. I'm a chartered architectural technologist and I work for Place Design. And we were the successful winners of the Excellence in Architectural Technology Award at the AT Awards. We applied because we previously picked up an award at the AT Awards. The application process was simple. We had all the information at hand. We knew all the benefits that it would potentially bring. And on the back of that, we felt that the Martello Cafe was a building which should be recognised for its use of architectural technology. So for us, it was a no-brainer. We were approached by East Suffolk Council to produce an iconic building to try and draw people to the southern end of Felix Day. We explored quite a number of different coastal themes and different shapes for the building, but we ended up on the design of a clamshell. With the idea behind it that you have a very sort of folded decorative roof or decorative shell, and then as it opens it reveals a really beautiful interior, and then the sort of bar or the counter is kind of the pearl in the middle of it all. So obviously we are very, very near the coast. It's a very harsh environment. So everything that we had to put into that building, we made sure it was marine grade. And at the same time, we looked at using zinc and that forms a big sort of dynamic wrapper all over the building itself. Under that shell, we've got a steel frame. There's also a suspended concrete floor to deal with potential flooding. When we looked at this building, although it is a commercial catering kitchen, we made a decision really early on to not have air conditioning. So as part of that, we put a mechanical ventilation heat recovery system in there. One of the biggest things for us is the shape. It would have been probably quite easy to have all of the roof pitches the same angle, um, but we took that decision to sort of have it sort of starting off quite demure, about sort of 25 degree angles, and then really ramping up. So the tallest one is almost seven and a half metres high. So when you're walking along the promenade, it's kind of like a beacon. So it is trying to sort of draw you this way. Feedback's been amazing. This building really contributes to, to a whole move for the town of, of progress and innovation and, and having a good time and, and enjoying this great environment where we live. The AT Awards are a really well run event. Something that's a real nice um, feel to it. It's great to be able to see lots of other practices work. There's few opportunities to do that, really. We get to network with other industry peers and architectural technologists. It's always interesting to see who you're up against. Obviously, there's a short list beforehand, but then to be at the awards and to actually feel the sense of expectation. Matt Allwright, who was the host, announcing all of the winners when he read our name out. Yeah, it's a very proud moment. Yeah, it's quite an exciting experience. The AT Awards are really a recognition on an international stage. It's nice in terms of being able to have a building which has got recognition in terms of our peers, you know, and it's been awarded by an expert panel. Um, and at the same time, it gives us an opportunity to promote the practice. You get recognised by other industry peers and that brings in new collaborations for the office. Also, clients are very interested. They like to know what details are involved in creating an award-winning building, and I think ultimately they would like some of that detail included in some of their designs as well. Getting this international award really made me sit up and think, wow, we've done one of the best possible things we could have done here and that will be attracting interest and new visitors to the town. That's been really positive, one of those things that it's actually made a mark in the landscape and uh, I think it's helped draw people to this end of Felixstowe and it's fulfilling its brief. It's lovely that it's making this sort of architecture accessible for everybody. You know, anyone can go in there and have a bite to eat and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great place to be.